Cheers, lovely. Uh, Alex White, pleasure to see you. Thanks very much. Now, I understand that you are the uh, writer, producer and director of the film Eyes in the Dark. Yes, that's right. It's, Fantastic. Uh, pretty much the way you, it, it works. You, know, mm -hmm. you, sort of, you come up with an idea for a film, you write it, uh, then you have to direct it, so you shape it yourself, and then, uh, you know, of course, you have to uh, do all the uh, producing uh, as well sometimes, but uh, that's when you're working on your own. It's best if you work with a team, a great team for our eyes in the park. Fantastic. Uh, please tell us a bit about your film. Well, it's uh, set in the world of H.P. Lovecraft. Um, he's uh, very... Uh, not obscure anymore because he's come through in popular fiction. He's a science fiction writer from the 20s, before science fiction was really written. So if you just said to somebody, oh, it's aliens from outer space, people would just go, oh, yeah, aliens from outer space. Back when H.P. Lovecraft was writing, it was aliens from outer space. What a novel idea that is. And so that's why H.P. Lovecraft did, um, stories that are about you know, aliens that have been imprisoned on Earth, visit Earth, and are summoned to Earth, and you know, that sort of thing. And that's where I said the dark comes in. Fantastic. Um, so that was kind of the time when they were trying to make films like Metropolis and the really beginnings of science fiction as we know it. Yeah, that's right. Back then it really was a question of you know, your traditional sort of things, films from natural history, things like that. Thinking about the future, well, why did we do that? Fantastic. Um, so tell me, how did the South West uh, help you in the making of this film? I wanted to make the film in the South West. Everybody thinks that, well, yeah, yeah, you get, get to Bristol, well, that, that's the South West. No, 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 the South West continues on. Bristol right the way down to Cornwall. And I wanted to use people who uh, uh, grew up in uh, Devon, based in Devon, talented in Devon, so everyone involved in, in the kit studied with Devon and uh, worked in Devon, based in Devon, and my actors, my crew, uh, script supervisor, everyone was based in Devon. So the South West really, really did help. I didn't want any funding uh, from anyone because uh, I applied for funding and I don't simply go on the way of so the funding, what is it, give out uh, funding. Uh, but really, I wanted complete control over the project. I knew what I wanted to get. Sometimes if you had to do a great project, uh, and really, uh, you're at the mercy of a student. Thank you very much. Um, now, another few questions for you. Okay. Uh, Alex, I've, I've, I've known Alex, I've worked with him before. Uh, um, sorry, more professional for you. Um, so what, would you, what advice would you give to new filmmakers, people who are just starting out and want to get into filmmaking? Now, this is going to be a tr uh, controversial one. Okay. Everybody says, go out and just film something. Mm -hmm. Don't. Think first where it's going before you film it. Because if you come up with a killer script and you film it yourself, but it's like brilliant material for a feature film, well, then you really should have thought about that first. Because if you have a killer script, don't bother making it yourself. Take it to a studio. Say, yeah, this is a really good script. Will you read it? Again, if you're a filmmaker, do a short film, then show it to uh, somebody and say, how can I improve? So think, why am I making this film? Because at our end of the market, we're not going to be profitable. We're not going to be rich. We actually just want to try and break even on our costs. So if you go out and buy a thousand pound camera and a hundred quid's worth of uh, SD cards and everything like that, and go out and make something, well, you're already 1100 quid in the hole. Whereas if you borrow a friend's camera, say, well, I'm going to go to a film festival and I'm going to make something that, and maybe win that film festival. That's what you've got to, got to think about. So by all means, go out and make something, but think where it's going first. That's, that's what I really say to people. Fantastic. I, I generally think that's very good advice. Thank you. Um, one question for you. Uh, it might be a multi multi role question because you're a multi role man in this production. Oh, thank you. Um, but um, what was the, what was your uh, a pinnacle moment or a point that you were just really happy with? What was what was your moment where you're like, this is this is great. I always judge films I'm watching whether they, if they transport me. If they take me away and I, I leave the room, or I forget I'm watching a film, and I, in this place, I'm really eager to. So I have one of those moments on Eisenberg. I'm sitting there watching the monitors. I believed what the actors were saying. I believed the dialogue uh, that was coming across, and it was like I was watching TV. And I almost just for a moment forgot that I was making my own. No, that sounds terribly. No, no, no. That's the whole thing. When you get moments like that, you just think, yeah, you know, you kind of think, 
that's not not too bad. And uh, you know, I guess other people thought the same because it was uh, ended into the H.P. Lovecraft Film Festival. And, <laughs> just just uh, in case you hadn't noticed. If, if you Google the H.P. Lovecraft uh, Film Festival, this actually made it onto the uh, best of DVD for 2014. So uh, have a look for that online. Uh, I'll try and put a link somewhere down here. Um, yeah, be, but, a be somewhere. Somewhere I point you, there'll be a link. Um, but yeah, I was really pleased that uh, you know, other people thought the same. Uh, and it, it was an official selection for the HP Lovecraft uh, Film Festival. I narrowly missed out to another British entry uh, who did uh, a zombie, zombie film. Ah. Yes, well, I will say for Alex's on Alex's behalf, and no major spoilers here, but at the very beginning of your film, the moment the old, very, very old-fashioned car comes up on screen, instantly transported to it. I was, I was amazingly impressed with what you'd done um, for what some people would think, oh, it's a short film, so they might not think the most of it. But from the start, I was like, wow. You can see the effort that you've put in right from the off. Thank you very so, much. Very we, well deserved. We were very, very pleased that we got. It was an original Model T Ford. Yeah. From the time when H.P. Lovecraft was uh, writing and, and just to get it I think we had it for about half an hour or so uh, but you know, I was really pleased that uh, we, we managed to uh, get that so uh, yeah, thanks, thanks very much. Yeah, you're very welcome and I have the final question the that final has, been, question. has been delivered to me um, uh, not from online don't worry uh, but uh, what has been your favourite film of the festival so far and what is something that you are looking forward to seeing today if, you, if you're going to be able to get the chance uh, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Fracture uh, again because I, I like my science fiction yeah. and uh, Ashley Wing and the guys from FX Home uh, really did some excellent uh, work, work on, on that right up, right up there um, but I haven't seen Baby Bird mm -hmm. um, but I hear good things about it so I'm looking forward to seeing uh, that one and hopefully uh, yeah, it transports me away somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Alex, thank you very no, much. Thank Cheers. You very much. Uh, and we'll be back with somebody else very shortly.